Hi there, thanks for tuning in to another Design in Motion video today. My name's Scott Moyes and today I'm going to talk about exporting model data from SolidWorks for the purpose of creating BIM content for products like Revit and Archicad. So there are essentially three different ways to export um, this data suitable for BIM. The first one is export to AEC. Then we can actually save out as an IFC file two formats. The second format, IFC4, is new for SOLIDWORKS 2016. But then we can also save out as a dumb ASIS SAP file as well. So first of all, I'm just going to show how to use this export to AEC tool. It's essentially a workflow command that kind of brings together various different commands within SOLIDWORKS into one nice workflow. This first step is unique to this particular command, however, and so when you're creating BIM content, one of the things you need to define is how it interacts with the world it gets put into. So typically, and this is a, there are more options than this in other products, but essentially, is it going to be floor mounted, ceiling mounted, or or mounted on a wall? So um, if it was a light, it would be a ceiling based, and there's no kind of sink based option here but floor based is essentially the orientation this faucet is going to be mounted in so that's perfectly okay and then it wants to know which face it's going to be mounted on um, one downside here and I, I don't understand why they've done it this way but there's no visual feedback here to um, to indicate whether I should flip normal or not to um, for this particular face now as I mentioned in the previous video I actually created a coordinate system here uh, in the model and I'm going to use that to define the center point of of the connection. Moving on to the next stage we can choose kind of like some presets for the the D feature command and it's the D feature command actually gets hidden from you when you select either high, medium or low. But if you select custom and go to the next stage you'll see that you can go through the all of the stages of the D feature command that I covered in the previous um, video. And then I can go on to select all of these features here. But in this case here, I've, I've already simplified my model, so I'm perfectly okay with it. And then I can save it out as a SAT file. It's as simple as that. You've now got a clean, simplified SAT file with some um, additional metadata associate, associated with it that's useful for BIM that Revit or Archicad or a com another competing product could make use of. Now the next option is to export as an IFC file. So if we take a look at these options, now I know that IFC IFC 4 isn't supported by Archicad. Um, I can import it into Revit, but just so you can see the differences, I'm going to use um, IFC um, 2x3. If we have a look at the options, we get the ability to choose whether or not we want to um, use Omniclass or Uniclass and essentially you're just going to choose what kind of um, component it is you're creating so this is um, this particular category here is well this class is perfect it's just a mixing faucet and I can have some control over the um, the export format when you're using the IFC 4 standard but we're not in this case we're using IFC 2 by 3 and if we save that out we can then import that into Archicad and see what it looks like. So moving over over to Archicad, you can simply open up that file. And once we switch to the 3D space, we can see that that model is imported perfectly well. Now if we inspect the geometry, and select it. We can see that the geometry is pretty clean, and yeah, that's a pretty good result. So that's perfectly, perfectly good for um, for Archicad. Now, if we save this out, let's check. I can't save because it's a, a demo version of the product. But when we have a look at the IFC file, we can see it's about 1.6 megabytes. Now that is about as big as you'd ever want it. It's actually a little bit big. But um, you know we, we, we'll have to live with it for the level of detail that we've chosen. But you definitely wouldn't want a file to be any bigger than that. 
Now what does that particular file look like when we bring it into Revit? So we can use the link IFC um, command and switch, let's go find it and well we selected that one there, we created that one there this time so let's open that one up. Uh, once it's imported I've just got to go and change a few view presets. We're in a 2D floor plan view at the moment so we'll switch to 3D. Here we can see that the geometry has come in, it's all of it really quite funky actually. It's not exactly um, what we want. This is really messy and it's not going to give a nice result when you look at this inside an arch architectural model. So there are better ways to get information into Revit and it happens to be a SAT file. So I want to come in insert link CAD. Here we can choose the SAT file. And we can see straight away that there's much, much nicer geometry that's come into Revit. So as you can see, it's a much better idea to use um, SAT files with Revit. The Autodesk haven't done a very good job of their IFC importer when it comes to interpreting that geometry in the same way as Archicad does, which is a bit of a shame really. Um, certainly for SolidWorks users because you get the ability to add a little bit more of uh, the BIM data that um, the end users are going to want. So finally, um, you can simply save out this file as a SAT file. You don't really get any options, there's no kind of BIM intelligence involved and really when you've got export to AEC in a simplified model then that's a much better way to get a, a SAT file out of SOLIDWORKS for the purpose of creating BIM content. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys today. So there's essentially two ways to get um, good export, good quality CAD data and some metadata out of SOLIDWORKS. To be honest, SOLIDWORKS could do a much better job and provide some more tool sets here. Uh, I don't know why you don't have the ability to export to IFC within the export to AC command um, because that would be a nice touch. Thanks for tuning in today and uh, have a good one. Cheers. Bye.